A diagnosis of mast cell activation syndrome requires very careful clinical consideration looking at symptoms um, as well as response to treatment is uh, an important piece of the puzzle. Yes, there's lab testing and people talk about a tryptase. It's not that great a biomarker for mast cell activation. I do it because I want to make sure it's not elevated from a hereditary perspective. Um, I want to make sure I'm not missing something else. Uh, but mast cell activation syndrome does not require elevated tryptase in order to be diagnosed. There's other mediators that can be measured. In my jurisdiction, they're expensive. They may be worthwhile to help round out the picture and understanding a bit better. But again, clinical symptoms, a high index of suspicion, response to treatment, which is not unusual in clinical medicine, uh, to use treatment trials, not only to benefit a patient, but diagnostically. Uh, these are all important considerations. I also will say this, mast cell activation, not part of a syndrome, is relevant for a lot of chronic illnesses that have a different diagnosis. You'll see mast cell activation potentially in irritable bowel syndrome, in colitis. Uh, you'll see it in psoriasis and other skin conditions. It doesn't mean the diagnosis changes to mast cell activation syndrome. It just means the mast cell is important in inflammation in general.